I was like, holy beep. I couldn't believe how violent, how funny, how outlandish it was. I mean, it, it was, um, how do they say, balls to the wall? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I was. It was shocking. I was like, "Oh my God, this is what we needed. We, this is what you need to have in our modern times to cut through all the noise. A movie that thinks outside the box. That's not a remake. That's not a an, another rehash of an of a pre done movie. You know, something new and original. Absolutely, it was it was a page turner. And not only that, I was laughing out loud. And I don't laugh out loud. If it ain't funny, I'm not laughing. And I was laughing out loud, knee slapping as I'm reading. People thought I was losing my mind, but it was that funny. And then I wanted all my friends to read it who are screenwriters because it was so good. It was that good. And then we got on set and it was even funnier. And you got all these great, great actors, Edie, Alex, David Harbour, and, and, the, and the, you know, the brilliant thing about Tommy Werkel is that he hired, my whole crew are stunt actors. So man, they, those fight sequences, that's them. That's not a stunt double because they are stunt actors. Dude, I worked with David Leach in, in John Wick 1 and I had so much fun in my sequences. It was such a blast to work with him. So I knew I was in great hands. Yeah, that's what I loved about Scrooge, you know. I, I felt like, here's a great villain. You, you, don't, lo you don't love him, but you, you can understand him. And that, that, that was what is important to me, that, that he was witty, smart, and not that you like them. I'm not a corny actor. You don't have to like me, but I, I, you better damn understand me. <laughs> and then that, that, that was for the director and the writer. That, that wasn't for uh, the audience. Yeah, that, that was fun. I, I enjoyed that part a lot where the magic of Christmas is starting to infiltrate his crew and they're starting to believe. I thought that was so fun to play against that, you know, and I'm like, come on, guys. There's no such thing as Santa. What are you losing your mind? You know, so that battle was so much fun for me. That dynamic between my 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 crew, who's starting to realize that Santa, that David Harbor is really Santa, that it's not just a costume. That was a fun dynamic. Oh yeah, man. No, I, I really, I really enjoyed chewing up the scenery a little bit on this because uh, it was allowable uh, to to get a character that's really smart, really wound up. You know, and, and, and the action sequences were incredible. I got to work with one of the great stunt coordinators, Jojo Eusebio, who rocked it with his crew of stunt. You know, we, we, I, I, I rehearsed it for months with all these stunt actors, and it was such a blast, man. I mean, they really, Tommy Workala and David Leach and Kelly McCormick really put a lot of time to things. No, I mean, the, the most sought after roles in Hollywood are the villains, they're the most fun. The, the, the way you can really g give it your, 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 your maximum. But you do have to have restraint. That's where your, your skill set comes into play. You have to make sure that, that it's believable. You have to be scared of me. And if I, even if I blow it, you're not scared of me anymore. You don't respect me. I need to be, you have to respect the villain. And, and that's, that's the trick. Oh, he's so fun to work with, man. I mean, Tommy's such a lovely guy. He's very gentle, very respectful, loves actors, and he's a writer himself, so he really understands character arc, dynamics and scenes. He really, I mean, you're working with a master craftsman, to tell you the truth. I mean, because I've never seen anybody be able to wrangle violence, gore, comedy, and emotion, I mean, together in one movie. That's what makes this movie unique, is, is, is those three ingredients brought together. And even though I listed four, it's really three, three. And you never will. I mean, nobody can, who can touch David Harbour? Come on. He brings such rage, such dysfunction, and, and still makes him lovable? Who can do that? Oh, my God, I was looking forward to it so much. And, and it delivered even more than, my, than in my dream, Wildest, wildest Dreams. Uh, I mean, those sequences were so fun because, I mean, he, he comes so prepared and he's got such a depth in his acting. I mean, the rage he brings in, the, the humor, the, the pathos. I mean, it was incredible to watch, man. I was like, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, she brought equal amounts of fear. <laughs> uh, she was incredibly despicable. I mean, it was great. She's fearless, man. And that's what you needed with that character. Somebody who, uh, pardon the expression, had balls. You know, that relationship, 
I, I, I didn't really see that in the script. I mean, it was there, but it, it really popped when you saw it. The, the, she, brought, she really brought it to life. I think she's, she's the surprise uh, star of the movie. I really feel like she really brought it to life and, and made you believe in Santa, made you love him. And it's the heart of the movie. It really is the heart, the engine of the movie. Oh, she's beautiful, man. She's so beautiful. She's so cute. And, and she little, she's got a little snark to her that just, this is the right ingredient for it, you know? So it's not, it never goes into too cute or, or too corny, you know? Everybody rocked their roles. It's a chef's kiss of a cast. And they were bl a blast to hang out with as well. But, I mean, the, the ad-libs that Edie added and, and Alex, I mean, it was, just, it was just a blast, man. I was laughing, and sometimes he would ruin takes because we were all laughing and cracking up. And, and we couldn't keep our face, you know, sometimes he would just, like, laugh until it was like, okay, guys, we got to get this done. We got to get serious. And then, of course, we'd bl we, we'd, we would be like, <laughs> all over again. Yeah, you know, the Jojo Sebio is one of the great, I, I believe one of the great stunt coordinators I've ever worked with. And he's meticulous and he, and he loves long sequences, which a lot of, you know, a lot of directors aren't really a fan of that, but Tommy Workala and, and David Leach are. Because David Leach was a stunt coordinator to begin with, who did The Matrix, who did uh, the action for 300, you know, one of the brilliant stunt coordinators. So you got two, three masters of action and comedy and, 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 and this type of movie. And so we rehearsed it. Uh, you know, I did, it, I did it for about a month every day, learning a little piece of it by, by a little piece of it because it was about 50 moves and I wasn't sure I could retain it all, you know what I mean? And let alone execute, let, you know, just barely remembering was difficult because it's a lot of moves. It's a long sequence. And so we went every day a little piece and then all of a sudden I was building confidence and uh, I wanted to look like a real assassin, so that was even trickier. I didn't want to look amateur, you know, like, oh, there's that actor trying to look like he can fight. I wanted to look like I really can fight, off camera and on camera. What can I say? I mean, it was minus 35 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, which is goddamn cold. I mean, that breath coming out of us, that's not CGI, that's actual cold and there were times where I couldn't move my jaw I mean that first scene where I say uh, uh, oh my god I forgot what that line is in the trailer um, uh, welcome to your worst Christmas ever my mouth is so frozen in my jaw I'm going welcome to your worst that's not me gritting my teeth that's my jaw frozen I, I have to agree with you I've, I've never seen a movie like this uh, I think that's what makes it unique and original is these this crazy tone that they've created like mixing violence with with jokes and then with so much heart because this family that's dysfunctional and sick and twisted but you love them and you want them to make it together by the end of the movie you want them to to live and you want them to be together and love each other and it really touches you it really hits those christmas beats yeah, no, no, I had a great time. I, I, I had a lot of little zinger jokes that I was very proud of, and and I, and, the, and the cast, Edie and Alex, everybody was adding a lot of great humor to it. And David Harbour, I mean, he delivers, man, like nobody. I mean, I think I think that David Harbour is going to change Santa for everybody forever. For every for for every other movie about Christmas, this is the bar they have to reach. Oh, I love Christmas, man. I I I mean, I know it's a bit of a commercial holiday, but at the same time. It's such a great excuse to be together with family, to, for me to see my whole entire family at once and for us to joke and reminisce and, and celebrate the things that we love, which is, you know, a lot of Latin culture, you know. We dance, we put our music on, uh, cumbia, salsa, merengue. We have our great dishes, lechon, penil, maduros, you know, all, all the things that we like in Caribbean culture. And, uh, you know, it, I, I just love a, ch a chance to be, for my kids to be with my extended family. And, and for them to see, you know, how beautiful we are as a family. Well, first of all, it's a great movie to see with everybody out in the theater, laughing your ass off. Because I saw it with 4,000 people, the biggest audience I've ever been in a, in a premiere. And they were yelling, ho hooting, hollering, jumping on their seats. This is going to happen to you as well when you see the movie. Just don't bring the grandma or the tiny kids. This is for the 13 and above crowd.